Oh, they know us, huh? Ah, it's too much for me. <laughs> this place is called um, Tenge Koko Mall. That hospital was built by Mahama. It's not easy for this village. Everywhere is full of sand. Help me. You are fine. What are you doing outside? Yeah, this is me all dressed up to go visit my parents. Oh my goodness. The scene, you do not know what you have until you lose them. Dawned on me when I was so far away from home, like when I was in Mali. Although when I was in Accra, I do not visit my parents uh, much often. But when I was there, it was just like, oh my goodness. I missed them so much and I couldn't even understand my mom doesn't have a whatsapp phone because she always says oh she can't operate it so she doesn't need that but right now i'm like no due to the experience i had in bali i couldn't call her on whatsapp video i just call my dad on whatsapp video and we talk and i ask him to you know extend my greatest or sometimes i use his phone if he's closer to her oh my goodness and i'm like no you have to use the whatsapp phone this time so yeah this is me all packed up these are the things i have here <laughs> oh my goodness these are the things i have here to go give my parents all these are for my parents you don't even believe it everything phone everything they don't even know that i'm coming but i'm going Yeah, so this video is just me missing my parents as I've been away for some time now. I'm back from Mali and I've decided to, you know, pay them a visit. And anyways, I've got them a few things, especially an Android phone for my mom and brothers and um, some, you know, food stuff, groceries, laundry soaps, a whole lot of things that I've got for my parents and siblings especially the android phone for my mom is very important to me because when i was away like i the fact that i could not you know see my mother's face unless my father is close to her and it's not always that my father is around was like a big turn in my flesh the scene i keep reiterating that the scene that you do not know what you have until you lose them is so real and i wonder how people cope if they lose their parents because in my case i did not lose my parents i was just far away from them and I couldn't, I couldn't bear it. I felt like, oh, what if they need me right now? It's not like just a walk in the park that I can just get close to them immediately. So that was really, it was a deal breaker for me in Mali. Like that was the only thing that got me worried and that got me like, okay, let me just hurry up with whatever I am doing there and just get back to see my parents. I never knew that I could miss my parents so much when i am away because even when i was in ghana like i didn't care like i didn't know i just didn't know the value of having them around so yeah i've just decided to visit them this is supposed to be a surprise visit because i'm visiting them unawares right but the thing is you will not be able to see that part because the SD card that I got from China Mall, I think is not quality enough, so it has gotten my files corrupted. All the interesting moments that I've filmed with my parents, my mother, how surprised she was when she saw me. Like, <laughs> it was really interesting and her reaction when she got the phone and everything. Like, it was really touching. All those parts are out because if the file is corrupted. I don't know how to retrieve all these files, right? It's been a tricky situation, but the little that I've recorded, you guys can get a few just from it. The whole journey started from Accra. The major towns that are very significant on the Accra to Aflau Road is uh, Adan and Sogakope. Sogakope, that is where we have the river Volta passing through Adan through Sogakope. So we have the bridge there that connects the two sides of the river. It's an attraction that a lot of tourists even visit to see that's a major attraction that will pass by the major town with a major attraction so getting closer to my village so let me show you the surrounding here so my village is fast developing because in the past all you could find here were bushes so right i 
ahead. I'm thinking that that story building there. I don't know if that one is the hospital that Mahama built when he was still president. The Lee's Hotel. So guys, welcome to my beautiful village here. This is where we normally highlight. I'll be showing you more where it gets to the real village. This is just a junction so I'll be. This place is called um uh, we have the hospital there. I was thinking that that hospital was built by Mahama, but it's not. It's like a missionary hospital by the EP church. So, yeah, I thank God for a very safe journey and I'm so happy to go see my parents. I normally don't come here, but when I was away, I was really missing my parents. And when I came back, I decided to come see them. It's very important. These are the bikes that will help me so i'll see you on the flip side hey! oh my goodness this one is too much for me <laughs> it is high time i bought a car oh medal welcome to my beautiful village it is called the coconut grove village it is a suburb of Kliko in the Ketu district of the Volta region. The main occupation of the people is farming and kente weaving. The major produce cultivated here is coconuts, hence most of the women here are coconut oil producers. So let's prepare some coconut oil. Homemade from scratch. Homemade coconut oil from scratch. <laughs> Yeah, when you are in my village, okay, your breakfast will mostly be fresh coconuts. Yes. Here in my village, we believe that drinking fresh coconut juice every morning helps cleanse 
the system and it also serves as a source of hydration for the body we believe that always drinking coconut water may prevent you from some emergencies that makes the doctors give you drips in the hospital the coconut juice serves the same purpose as the drips given in the hospital we believe that the fresh coconut is an essential food for the human body <laughs> But allegedly, in parts of Nigeria, they believe that if you take lots of coconut juice, you may have coconut heads, meaning that you will not be smart enough. Nigeria don't like coconut water. There we go. Let's see why. Yeah, people said if they drink coconut water, their brain will not be sharp. So that's why they don't sell coconut water everywhere. Is it true? Yeah. No, it's not Is true. It true? That's, that's 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 true. That's it's because they don't want to share it with you. That was why they said. How true is that? Drop a comment and let me know. And shockingly, I've never found fresh coconuts in Mali. All I found there was the dried coconuts. Hey. How are you? See, okay, you are fine. You are in school. Well, what are you doing outside? Hmm? What are you doing? Where's your teacher? Hey, yes, yes. Hey, helpful. Oh, yeah, view, guys, look at me. I'm loaded. I'm falling. <laughs> look at me. Look at me. Hey, it's not easy for this village. Everywhere is full of sand. The bike cannot move any longer. So I have to carry the thing. And the person has to help me. Do you understand? Oh. 